ever feel like reality is like just a tad limiting, you know? I know what you mean. Like maybe, just maybe there's something more out there. Definitely. Well, you're in luck. Oh, yeah. Because today we are taking a deep dive into the WM1 Maladrex Guide to the Multiverse. And let me tell you, this guide does not just like crack open the door to more. It blows the whole darn thing off its hinges. And what I find so fascinating about this guide is that it's structured like a traveler's handbook. Oh, interesting. For the multiverse. Yeah. It even suggests planning, like planar campaigns. Yeah. It's as if the author is saying, like, yeah, of course, infinite realities exist. And here's your lonely planet guide on how to navigate them. I love that. OK, so the guide jumps right in talking about these things called finite realms. Um, and it's pretty clear that our little corner of existence, good old Earth, fits the bill here. Although the guide does hint that even within, you know, the familiar, yeah, there right. are quirks. Yeah, it's almost like a blink and you'll miss it kind of moment. But the author just throws out terms like cube-shaped worlds and pyramid planets. Whoa. Makes you wonder, even in our reality, like what else is out there that we haven't even begun to grasp? Right. It's like the ultimate reminder that the universe is full of surprises, even in the supposedly finite spaces. And from there, things escalate very quickly. Mm -hmm. So the guide introduces us to what are called infinite realms. And this is where concepts are stretched to their absolute like limit. We're talking boundless deserts, endless oceans, mm -hmm. galaxies teeming with you know unimaginable life forms. It's enough to make your head spin. Infinite realms. It's as if the universe is saying, you know, hold my beer, watch this. Exactly. What is the most awe-inspiring thing about this concept to you? You know, what really gets me is the sheer scale of it. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, like, a world of infinite water. Okay, I'm sure. Stretching in every direction, defying, you know, our understanding of physics, of biology, could life even evolve in such a place? What would it even look like? Yeah, right. It just begs so many questions. It really makes you question the limitations that we place on our own imaginations, doesn't it? Absolutely. And speaking of pushing boundaries, this next part just blew my mind. The guide touches upon a specific example of an infinite realm, the elemental plane of air. Ah, yes. A realm of, like, pure boundless air where beings exist without ever, like, touching solid ground. Wow. Imagine the creatures that could evolve in such a place. Yeah. The adaptations they would have, the way they would experience the world. Talk about leg day being canceled. Yeah. You would have calves of steel just from existing there. Okay, so we've got these finite realms. Right. Familiar yet full of surprises, right? Yeah. And these infinite realms that just blow the concept of big out of the water, you know? Totally. But hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to enter. Oh, yeah. The truly bizarre with what the guide calls transitory planes yes okay so oh, like cool hit me okay what are they all about so if the finite and infinite realms are like the main courses yeah think of the transitory planes as that secret menu mm -hmm. that's only accessible to those who know to ask oh interesting and trust me okay you're gonna want to try everything on this menu i am intrigued okay so what makes transitory planes so special it's less about grand scales okay and more about the spaces like between, okay. they connect the realms, acting as a kind of, like, hidden network, right? Yeah. Behind the scenes of reality itself. Okay, so less about big ideas and more about specific, weird, wonderful oddities yeah. than hit me with your best transitory plane. Well, the guide spends quite a bit of time on the astral plane. Okay. Which is described as this, like, shimmering sea of pure light. Beautiful. But here's the kicker. Travel in the astral plane is as fast as thought. Imagine that. Okay, now that's just showing off. No more traffic jams. Right. No more airport delays. My commute would be a breeze. Exactly. It's like when, you know, you're dreaming. Yeah. And you can instantly teleport from one place to another. Yeah. Except this is real. Well, in the multiverse, at least. Okay. But it gets even wilder. Okay. The guide suggests that the astral plane might be the very background of all reality. Like the source code of the multiverse. Mm -hmm. Just shimmering, just beyond our grasp. Okay, that image is going straight into my mind blown folder. It's like the ultimate backstage pass to everything. I know, right? What other strange and wonderful stops are on this multiverse tour? Speaking of strange and wonderful, the guide also introduces these things called X spaces. Okay. And knowing your love for the unexpected, you're going to love this yeah. general. There is a series of absolutely bizarre dimensions with a naming convention that's like oddly satisfying okay like they're alphabetically listed wait are you saying they're just there's an a space and a b space and so on seems that way 
The guide doesn't go through all of them, but it does highlight some of the most outlandish examples. Okay. And this is where things get really fun. Take e-space, for instance. Ecological space. Oh, yeah. E-space. I remember this one. It's like the ultimate mashup of nature documentaries. Like oh. all just matched together. Imagine falling down a rabbit hole. But instead of Wonderland, yeah. you emerge into every natural environment in the multiverse. Right. All just smashed yeah. together. Jungles bordering deserts. Icy tundras right next to active volcanoes. Yeah. Knowing your love for listeners' interest, I can just see you getting lost in e-space for hours. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Though I can also see how things could go very wrong very quickly. Oh, for sure. One wrong step. And you're going from, like, you know a tropical paradise to the hunting grounds of some creature we can't even comprehend. Exactly. It makes you realize that even in a place of infinite wonder, danger lurks around every corner. Yeah. I'm adding appropriate footwear to my interdimensional packing list. Good idea. What other X spaces caught your eye? Well, there's one in particular I think you'll find intriguing, considering your love of a good mystery. Okay, hit me. It's key space, mm -hmm. also known as key space. Okay. And it is exactly what it sounds like. Okay. The space between every locked door in existence. Hold on. Are you saying that if I were to somehow get into K-Space, I could open any locked door anywhere? Theoretically, yes. Hmm. Though whether you would want to is another question entirely. <laughs> right. The guide makes it very clear that whatever is behind those doors yeah. is being guarded for a reason. This is like a gold mine, though. Imagine being able to unlock any secret, solve any puzzle just by stepping through the right door in K-Space. Oh, the possibilities. Right. I can see your mind working already. Yeah, okay. But there is one more space I think we need to touch on. Okay. And it is not for the faint of heart. Oh, you mean Z-Space? Yeah. Yeah, the guide wasn't exactly subtle about that one. Not at all. Don't go there. Yeah. Short, sweet, and <clears throat> absolutely terrifying. This one gives me chills just reading about it. Yeah. The guide is basically like, turn back now. You don't want to know. It's like that feeling you get, you know, when you're home alone. Yeah. And you think, you hear something go bump in the night, and you're like, nope, I'm good. I don't need to investigate that. Exactly. That's the space for me. Okay, that's officially going on my places to avoid, like, ever list. Yeah. But the rest of this, these X spaces, the transitory planes, it's giving me serious wanderlust. I don't know about you, but, like, I'm ready to pack my bags and set off on my own multiversal adventure. Right. Although I suppose a healthy dose of caution is probably in order. Yeah. Especially with, you know, Z-Space still looming out there. Good point. Yeah. It's a good reminder that even in a realm of infinite possibilities, not all those possibilities are, like, pleasant ones. Very true. But here's what I keep coming back to, right? Like, it's all fictional. Right. So what does this all mean for us? here in the, you know, quote unquote, real world, why should we care about these fantastical planes of existence? That's the beauty of fiction, isn't it? It allows yeah. us to explore these concepts and ideas that would otherwise be like impossible to even imagine. And this guide, I mean, it isn't just about escapism, right? Right. It's about expanding our perception of what's possible, even if it's just within our own minds. You know, it's funny you should say that because the guide actually offers some really practical advice. Oh, does it? Yeah, on how to apply this whole multiverse mindset to our everyday lives. Ah, uh, yes. The planar campaign suggestion. Yes. A stroke of genius, in my opinion. Right. Like that world of the week concept. What if, instead of dreading Mondays, we treated each week like a whole new plane of existence with its own, you know, unique challenges and opportunities? Exactly. It's a shift in perspective. You know, yeah. instead of getting bogged down by routine, imagine approaching each day with this, like, sense of wonder and curiosity. Right. Like you're exploring a brand new world. I love that. It's like choosing to see the extraordinary in the ordinary. Yes. And speaking of seeing things with new eyes, the guide also talks about this idea of a, like, planar city, which I find so fascinating. The idea that your city, right, yeah. your community is like a microcosm of the multiverse. Yes. Filled with these hidden connections and these unexplored territories. Exactly. What if those trade routes that the guide mentions, right, <sighs> are actually like the relationships that we build, the skills that we learn, you I know, like that. the experiences that we share, suddenly our everyday lives become a lot more exciting, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. It's about recognizing like the interconnectedness of everything. Just like those transitory planes connect the different realms of the multiverse, right. our own lives are this web of experiences and encounters that shape who we are. This entire deep dive has been like one big aha 
moment for me. I know, right? We started with like, you know, a, a fictional guide. Right. To a made up multiverse. Yeah. And somehow we've ended up with this whole new perspective on how to live a richer, more meaningful life. And that I think is the true power of this guide. Yeah. In of imagination in itself. It allows us to step outside the boundaries of our perceived limitations and embrace a world of, you know, infinite possibilities, both within ourselves and in the world around us. Well said. Well, listeners, as we wrap up our journey through the WM1 Maladrex Guide to the Multiverse, we leave you with this. What worlds will you discover within yourself? What hidden connections will you uncover in your own life? Keep exploring, keep questioning, and never underestimate the power of your own imagination. Because who knows, maybe, just maybe, those fictional universes are closer than we think.